What is up YouTube? It's your girl Little Burp back at you with another unboxing haul video. Um, this time I ordered off of the site Rom- Oh, Beller. <laughs> what are you doing back there? Um, I ordered off of the site Romway.com. I have never ordered from them before. I am a little anxious about how everything's going to turn out. Um, I have seen all kinds of different reviews about products from their site. Um, very mixed reviews. Another thing about the reviews, uh, some of the pictures for certain products, like I'd be looking at a review of a shirt and they would have a review for a pair of pants. So that's a little sketchy and questionable. Um, another thing about the reviews is that a lot of the products that they were showing um, were from a different site called SheIn.com. They are basically the same site though. Uh, they sell the same products, same sales, same deal, all from China. Um, they're not exactly like Wish or AliExpress, but they are like one of the more questionable sites, I guess, um, when, when it comes like in regards to, like I've never had an issue with um, money, payments being bad, nothing like that. It's just the quality of the products. Uh, that is always up in the air. You never quite know what you're going to get. I did already um, open up one of the shirts that I ordered because it came in two separate packages. They told me that it was going to come in two separate packages, so that was nice. It's not like um, AliExpress or Wish where it's a bunch of different shops that you're ordering from. It's one main shop, I think. I think that's how it worked because everything came in one box besides the different shirt. Um, and I really like that except for the fact that I remembered I ordered um, a hat and I'm not quite sure that the hat is going to be wearable after being stuffed in this box to the very top with other products so we'll see how that goes. I did already just open up the box and the first thing I'm so excited about right on top but I'm going to go over the shirt real quick. So this shirt, as I said, I, I already just opened it. Um, and it has a sheet in tag. I don't know if that's le like a legit thing to do if Romwe is selling Shein's clothes. I don't think so, um, judging by how many of the reviews were for Shein products, but I don't know their relation at all. So take that and do what <laughs> you want with it. Um, this shirt is super cute. I think I'm gonna wear it for like Christmas parties, even though it is a crop top, but it has these really long, um, puffy sleeves. It is a tie top, so I can't really show you right now, but I will try it on later. Um, I, the original price, oh gosh, my phone is freaking out right now, of course. <laughs> oh gosh. Um, the original price for this Puff sleeve wrap polka dot crop top was $12.95. I paid $11.66. I did get this in a size small. Um, another thing to be weary about with Romwe is I feel like for every single item of clothing I got, their measurements were different. Um, so a size small on one item is not a size small on the other. Definitely check the measurements, double check the measurements and just make sure you're actually getting something that'll fit you because who knows what's going to happen with these. I, you know, this is a wrap so you can't really tell from right now but we'll see how that goes. Oh yeah, and when I was looking at this I was like, oh yeah, this, this fabric is like super nice. It's super thick, great quality fabric. Um, the hems seem great but then I got here and I spoke too soon. There's a lovely thread hanging off because there is a hole <laughs> where that thread should be holding it together. So I'm going to have to fix that myself, but it's not a big deal. It is just a loose thread and seam. So I think I can handle that, but we'll see. This doesn't like smell super chemically or like warehouse or anything like that. So that's good. I'm glad about that. So let's get into this box. Um, the first thing right on top is another uh, bat fake faux neon light. Um, this one, so the other one that I got over in my little 
wet bar area was from the $5 spot at Target this year. And this light was originally, so this is the bat-shaped table lamp. It was originally $7.95. I got it for $6.26. I'm almost positive that the price has gone down even lower because um, we're like a couple of days out from Halloween now and they're trying to get rid of the stock. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to need batteries. I can't just show you right away, but let's make sure everything is here. Um, so it came with a cord, so you don't need batteries, but you can use batteries as well. Um, there's a little on-off switch on the base. You put this in, and it looks like, so the other one is completely different than this. This one is kind of loose out of its mold shape that's making it a bat shape. Like this part, you can tell it's kind of out of where it should be. So hopefully that doesn't affect it or anything, but we shall see. It does look a little wonky compared to the other one, but we'll see how that goes in the try-on portion of this. And this I'm super excited about too. This is the plain tassel decor scarf. It was originally $9.95. I got it for $3.56. It is unbelievably soft. No smell. Oh my gosh, I am so happy. This orange is beautiful. This is one of my favorite oranges. It has like lighter orange in it. I can't, I don't think you can tell. Um, like the little squash orange, yellowy orange in it too. It is so soft. I can't think of what fabric it's most similar to, but it's like, you know, like you usually get sweaters out of this. So soft. It's really big too. I was worried about that, um, that it was going to be like super small or something, you know, how they always do. Like people in their tapestries, they always come super small off of sites like this. But this is super big. Like, I'm going to be so warm with this. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Anyway, so this is, oh gosh, I love orange so much. Okay, so let's get to the next thing. I think I don't, I think I did buy a lot. So I think we have a lot to go through. I'm going to try and go f through this fast. Here's a little paper they put in free gifts just percentages off um i don't know if you want to use those codes use them while they're active um, oh oh okay so this is a lot smaller and not quite what i expected um it's just a little halloween headband thing um let me see where it actually is it is the Skull and Flower Decor Headband. It was originally $2.45. I paid $2 for it. Um, right off of the bat, the picture doesn't have three skulls, but it looks like there's one missing because you can just kind of like see the middle of the flower. Um, so that's kind of weird. But, and I want to doesn't really go with how my hair is now but that is so cute again I love orange so that's why I got it because it's just the best orange there is so yeah um, the flowers seem great they're fastened on probably with Valor, <laughs> probably with hot glue but there is felt over the bottom of the flowers and so it's like it's not gonna get stuck in your hair or anything pull it so that's really nice um this Oh, I brought this for my sister. Um, I'm trying to like stockpile presents for her right now. So this is just a, let's see what this is called. This is a long arm phone holder. Um, it is. I think they had a couple colors. I got pink. I don't know. Oh, that's weird. So the clip here, okay, so let's see how long it is. It's pretty long. Um, the clip here is a dragonfly. That's really weird. Um, but yeah, it seems like a what, really sturdy clip. <laughs> I can barely open it. So whatever you clip it on, I think it'll be good. And then it came with the little um, attachments for your phone. You put the ball 
into there and then you you're gonna tighten this around there obviously this clip is super strong as well hopefully my sister can do it she has worse joints than I do but um, yeah so it's just a phone clip clip it on like a table or something and it'll hold your phone up for you um, maybe I should use this and do videos with it um, and I didn't say the price this was a dollar ninety five originally I paid a dollar seventy six for it um, simple it seems really good quality I'll have to have her report back to me on that actually I'm not gonna give it to her yet so maybe I'll try it first then the next thing right here on top is oh uh, so one thing about Romwe is that they do have um, the sales going on all the time and people are constantly buying things so if you have things in your cart or on your wish list they can be taken from you and originally I wasn't going to purchase this little like night set whatever I don't know what this is they're not really pajamas but that's what they have them as um, originally I was not going to get this pair of items but uh, the ones that I wanted they had little hearts on them I think I have a picture still I'll put it if I do um, but they didn't have those ones anymore it got taken out of my cart so I got this one as a backup just because I wanted to try and see um, I don't think it's gonna fit me very well I don't think it's gonna be very flattering but the original price was six dollars and ninety five cents I paid six dollars and twenty six cents it is the floral lace bralette with striped shorts so it is definitely a ooh, floral lace oh this oh oh brother so this is a size small it smells disgusting I can't even think of what it's it actually kind of smells like pastel no I don't know what it smells like but it's disgusting and I don't like it. It doesn't look like it's a small. Um, there's no coverage. It is just a lace top. Um, and the shorts are right here. These are super cute, but again, they look actually really big. And as I said, I did go through things over and over again just to make sure I got the right size. So we'll see how this works out. I don't actually have any hope for it right now, but we'll see. Um, Okay, my phone was freaking out, just need the good whack. So let's go on to the next thing. Yeah, it just smells so gross too. Ugh, that's really disappointing. But on to the next. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about all this stuff. I completely forgot what I ordered. So it's like Christmas for myself. Um, these are just little clips. Um, let me see what they're called. You can get these like anywhere, I feel like. And... They were originally a dollar. I paid 90 cents for them. They're just two little skeleton hands um, that are black with white detail on just little alligator clippies for your hair. I'm actually gonna... Oh no, that looks stupid. Maybe if I go down? Oh, well, it's okay. <laughs> I'm gonna have to figure out how to wear these. Um, I used to have little white ones back in the day like uh, in high school so I figured I would just get these they're pretty cute they're like a hard plastic they're not flexible or anything um, so let's just keep going oh my gosh I got so much little stuff it's so exciting um, this is a little cable protector I don't know I, I don't know if these actually work you put them on the end of your um, charger cable and it's a little pumpkin and it's supposed to like keep it from bending and breaking and fraying at the port so we shall see if that does anything I don't know it's just really cute and it was 90 cents originally a dollar so I'm gonna put that right there don't lose it oh my gosh there's so much small stuff okay this is oh this is for my sister too I miss her uh, this is the skeleton and tombstone design brooch. It was originally a dollar. I got it for 90, 90 cents. And I think 
it looks exactly like the pins. I've had really good luck um, ordering pins off of AliExpress. Uh, Wish sells a lot of the same pins on their site as well, and they're usually just like a dollar or um, I think the most I paid for one on AliExpress was $3, but the pins are really great quality and they're super cute. I highly recommend pins on these kind of sites if you're ever looking for them. This one is super nice as well. It has, I don't know, some people, I don't know what the type of backing is called, but some people really like these kind and some people don't. I don't have a preference, but this is a little pin in person. Obviously the picture is going to do it justice because my camera cannot. It's so cute. So I hope she loves that. This is also for my sister. Oh my gosh, I got all these cameras, phone stuff. Um, this is just a, I don't think I'm going to be able to use it right now. But this is like one of those selfie camera lights. You just clip it onto your phone and it's like a ring, a tiny little ring light. Um probably needs batteries though so I can't show you right now it feels a little cheap yeah you need two triple A's it feels fairly cheap it is a little scuffed up if you can see Valor's very interested what do you think do you want to use it and take a selfie um, so that's just another small thing for my sister and it was originally $3.95. I paid $3.56 for it. I don't think it's even worth that, but if it works, then it works, and that's what matters. Um, on to the next. So this is for me. How exciting. I'm actually really excited about this. This is going to be a belt. It is... Oh, smelly belt. Valor wants to smell it. What do you think? This is the Croc Graphic Serpentine Decor Belt. It was originally $3.45. I paid $3.11. It is a faux leather, so PU, very PU belt. It has like this, so it has the crocodile skin texture, but then it has a snake as the buckle. Valor. <laughs> Um, I don't generally wear gold jewelry or gold items. I don't know if I'm going to... I have a really bad habit of just spray painting everything black if I don't like the color. It is. I recently just got new boots and I spray painted the brown part of them black because I just didn't like it. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to do that to this, but I probably will. And I... I'm almost certain. I don't think it did have a like size description for the belts, but I think I am gonna have to take this in a little bit. It does seem fairly long, at least for me, but I'm small, so I'm used to that. Let's get into this one. This is another belt. I'm really excited about this one. It is the double buckle, double buckle Western belt. It was originally $6.95. I paid $6.26 and oh it's really thin um, and yeah it is literally just a double buckle western belt um, there it is it feels good quality you know simple your standard Walmart belt quality I guess not the best but not the worst I've definitely felt worse than this and the the metal seems really nice as well as on the other belt it's nice and hard it is really cold so that's always a good sign um, and this one seems actually like small and it might fit and I won't have to do any finagling which is great because I didn't know how that would work with the two ends of it and everything so hopefully this works out on to the next item oh no this is the hat <laughs> so this is the supposed to be the bow knot decor floppy hat um, <laughs> I 
I don't know what to say about this, really. Um, it was originally $6.95. I paid $5.63. Um, I don't think it was worth it, judging by the way that it was shipped. Um, where's the... Let me in this thing. I will pull it. Am I stupid? Yes, I am. So much crinkling. Okay, so here it is, looking beautiful, exactly what I wanted. <laughs> oh, and it smells really weird. Two seconds out, there's a white baller hair all over it. Um, the f the material that it's made out of actually feels really nice. Um, it smells absolutely disgusting though, and I don't know how well it's going to be able to go back to its original shape. Um, so this, you know, in the reviews for a different hat, I did see, you know, pictures and it came up really crinkled. So I kind of had a suspicion that this might happen, but I had hoped <laughs> that it wouldn't happen, but it kind of did. So here's what I got it to so far. There's the bow. Um, not quite what I wanted. I really want to try and find a nice hat for winter, keep my head warm with the sun out of my face, but obviously I'm going to have to keep looking. I have seen, um, I really like the hats they have on Killstar, but the price is not my favorite. So I guess, oh. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep going. So that hat, not worth it. Not worth it. Do not, I do not recommend buying hats off of romley.com. <laughs> but this is kind of, oh. It's kind of, it's, <laughs> It's really um, sparkly, obviously, but it's, I think um, Ariana Grande has, did something with a mask like this, but I bought this obviously for Peter, um, who is my favorite. She's so gorgeous in her butt and everything. I was thinking about buying a um, bodysuit to wear with this and doing it for Halloween or like just in honor of Peter and Bullet Club. And um, so they had a uh, bodysuit that was super cute. It said Tokyo on it. It was going to be perfect, but um, it was in my cart and it got removed because they were out of my size. It also has, it just, it's really flat right now. So I'm trying to hold it in place so it bends a little but they also have these things in there which is super nice little foamy pads so when it's on your head I'll wear it later I'm not gonna put it on now but it's you know it's not hard to imagine but the ears are so long I love it um so yeah that's cool I'm excited about that I'm probably just gonna put it up on a wall somewhere when I'm not using it um so, oh I didn't tell you about it the pricing and everything so that was the Halloween Rabbit Ear Half Mass, half, Halloween Rabbit Ear Half Face Mask. I got it for $3.56. It was originally $3.95. I know that they are cheaper now if they're still available, that is, because um, it is a Halloween product. So it did drop down even further than when I bought it. Um, yep, so that's exciting, exactly. As I imagined, even more sparkly, which is not an issue. Let's see this next thing. This already, the fabric is extremely, it's like a nicer cheap, I would say. Um, it's, you can definitely tell that the outside of the shirt looks nicer than the inside. Um, and the inside does not feel very nice. But let's try and figure out what this is. Oh, it's going to be another tie shirt, so I can't show you. 
Oh no. It just has extra ties at the bottom. Oh, look at those sleeves, bell sleeves. How cute is this? So this is going to be the self-tie flounce sleeve wrap crop top. I got it in a size small. I paid I paid $9.86 for it. It was originally $10.95. Um, it is just a simple black long sleeve crop top. Nothing too fancy. Um, like I said though, the, the material it doesn't feel too nice on the inside. The outside is really pretty and like nice, but the inside is not. So we'll see how that goes in the try on. This shirt I'm kind of excited for. Um, I... I don't, when I bought this, the first shirt that I showed you, I bought it, you know, I bought it for Christmas and the holidays in mine because it's red. This shirt is like very opt autumnal and festive, but I don't know about wearing it. I might end up giving this to my sister, plus I don't know how it's going to fit. Um, but I thought it did look really cute. Is It is called the Short Sleeve Striped Knit Top. It was originally $10.95. I paid $9.86. I ordered this in a size medium. Um, it looks like it will fit. Oh, another tag from Shein, which is just weird to me. Um, so I ordered this in a medium, and it already, I can tell that the shoulders are too small for my big shoulders. And it's going to be... It's going to be good that it's stretchy and ribbed because it's going to be tight even though it's a medium. So just double check everything. Triple check if you need to. Triple check your measurements, what the site says, then check it all again. Because um, I don't know if that would fit my sister even if I gave it to her. But I do think it's really cute and very festive. And this black miscellaneous. Is oh oh, this feels really weird. Um, that didn't. Those last two shirts didn't smell, so that's good. Is this one? No, this one doesn't have a tag at all. I was gonna see if this black one said she in as well, but no tag. This one has no tag either. This one um was taken out of my out of my cart as well because um, sizing issues getting sold out so I ended up buying this in a size small it was originally $10.95 I got it for $4.46 it is a black bodysuit which does not have a snap in the crotch I just noticed mm -hmm. so that's gonna be fun um, and it has like this you know as you can see, a little pattern there. I didn't actually expect it to have those holes in it. Um, just by looking at it, I thought it was like j big sequins or something. Um, but I'm not not mad about that. I did want to get this in a size medium, though. Um, so I don't know if this is going to fit my big shoulders. Since it's supposed to be off the shoulder, we shall see about it. But uh, the fabric, it does feel a little bit swimsuity. Which kind of sucks, and it doesn't. It just. It really doesn't feel the nicest. But it, oh, yeah. The odor on that one is not as strong, or maybe I'm just used to it because it's coming out of the box right next to me. But that does not smell good at all. This <laughs> is just a really cheap scream mask. Um, there's not really much to say about this. It's actually a lot cheaper than I thought it was going to be because, you know, they sell them at... So, yeah, this is the Halloween Scream Mask... Scream Ghost Mask One Piece. It was 80 cents. And it seems a lot cheaper than you can get at the Dollar Tree. I was just going to put this up on my wall as decoration, but I don't even think I'm going to do that because it's so cheap. So... Like that um, hockey slash Jason mask up there uh, is from Dollar Tree. It glows in the dark. It's hard plastic. It's perfect. Um, and this is so much cheaper than that. Uh, Ballard likes it. Maybe Ballard can wear it. Um, yeah, like this. Why? 
when I wear that, it's supposed to be black, not see-through mesh. It's so crinkled up. And it just, it just looks like Michael Jackson. It knows. Okay. So. That's that. Nothing, that, yeah, not worth it. Could have got a better one at Dollar Tree. That's whatever. This, who knows what this black article of clothing is. What we got? Oh, oh. Oh my gosh, I'm actually really excited about this. This one had a bunch of people wearing um, this. This came in like, I think maybe just the two two or three colors. Um, and all the reviews were people wearing the white one. So I was kind of hesitant about getting this. But I'm so excited. It's got all these like unfinished, like unfinished looking edges. And it's just a little sweater. Um, this is called the Solid Raw Hem V Neck Jumper. It was originally $11.95. I got it for $10. And, yeah, I'm super excited. Um, a lot of people in their reviews were saying that it's more like a cropped sweater. But then in some reviews, it was no crop at all. Um, people are lying. It's not cropped. But there were pictures with both reviews and it was cropped in one and not cropped in the other. So we'll see what happens. I don't mind if it's a little cropped as long as it just doesn't look too weird. And this is going to be the last item here. I don't... Oh, that's what this one is. So this is going to be the wide waistband geo mesh panel leggings. They were originally $9.95. I got them for $4.46. I bought them in a size extra small. Um, that sweater that I got, I got it in a size small. Um, and these are, so, the leggings on Romwe. Um, most of the reviews were very unhappy with the product they received. The fabric was gross. The way that they fit was just unbelievable and so I was very hesitant about buying these. I actually, I um, looked around quite a bit to make sure that I was going to buy some that were going to be affordable for what they actually are because I don't want to overpay. And the art, they already feel kind of weird. Um, there's a really big sewn band spot right here, but there's a really small piece of elastic in it like you can see that's the piece of elastic there but the band goes all the way down so that might fit weird again it is a Shein tag it is an extra small though so that's good um they look like they're going to fit you can kind of see the pattern there um they're not too short so hopefully hopefully they fit well we'll see how that goes um and that is it. Finally, we are at the end. I am just so excited to try everything on. And so I'm just going to jump right into that and not do my outro right here because I always do that. Um, and I will see you soon, though. Here is that bat LED light. It is so freaking cute. I'm so happy with it. Although, um, once I did put the batteries in, the um, cover for the batteries it doesn't close all the way so it doesn't line up flat at the bottom right now so that's a little annoying I'm just gonna have to mess with that but here is that light it works perfectly um, and then this is the target one and let me turn it on compare so I like obviously I like the shape of this Romwe one better it's more organic and natural. This one's more like Batman. Um, and I really don't like the two-tone. I don't know why they did that. But I, I don't know. Pink's not my favorite color either. But these are so cute. I definitely like the Romwe one better, I think. I'm not quite sure. And then I put batteries in that little selfie light thing that I got for my sister. And it doesn't work. Um, I'm going to try and swap out the batteries. Maybe the batteries are bad. They were in 
a new battery thing, I don't think that there's any reason for them to be bad and that to be the issue, but if it is, then we will find out, but it doesn't work so far. Okay, so this is the first shirt. Um, it does fit a little, like, precariously. It just kind of falls weird. Um, I need to work on tying it still. I don't really know how to do that properly either. And right here, it kind of keeps falling and showing my bra. But other than that, I love this so much. It'll be perfect for the holidays. It is so cute. Here is the back, kind of what it looks like. So cute. Perfect. And then these are the leggings. Um, they actually go up high. They're high-waisted, which I don't, I'm not really a fan of, so I probably will wear them rolled down. Um, they do fit a lot better than I thought they would. There's like the pattern, like they are a little loose in the thigh, but it could be a lot worse. <laughs> so those are those. <laughs> Can't really show them off that well. Like this is an issue, obviously. So I still need to figure out my hair. I still need to figure out how this tying works with this. It's kind of just weird fitting, but I don't hate it completely. I think it's really cute. I love the sleeves. All right, on to the next. Okay, so this is another success. Here we are. I love these sleeves so much. So fun. It does, it is like a little loose in the bust area, but that's my own problem. Um, and this, I was gonna try and tie it in the back because I think that would be cuter, but the way the fabric is right, oh my tattoo looks weird. The way the fabric is, it wants you to do it forward. So that's what I did. And this is what it looks like. Super cute. And then the back is just, I am so pleased with this. This is going to be great with a lot of stuff. Okay, next. Actually, before I change out of this one, um, the fabric is a little stretchy, but for me, um, because I have my broad shoulders, it was kind of hard to pull over my head it was like this the material is just it's not stretchy enough for this type of shirt I guess I mean it worked out fine but it is a little tight and I'm afraid like of pulling it and busting seams that way so you might want to order up a size just in case but then again this is loose so I don't know it's up to you all right next up we have this bodysuit thing um, I am I am glad that this one was sold out in the size that I wanted because I did want to get a medium. This size was going to actually be too small for me, but if I had gotten the medium, there's no way it would have fit me. This is like perfect. Like I'm so surprised that my shoulders fit in this, judging by what it said on the description for the sizes and everything, the measurements. So. I just don't know about sizing on this site. Um, it fits perfect though, so that's great. Um, next thing. Okay, so this is just ridiculous. I hate this so much. I hate it. Doesn't fit. This is really loose. Um, if you can tell, it's really loose. Doesn't fit. These, the, they didn't sew it mindfully, so there's like black black stripe right there that's not flattering they're just not flattering unfortunately I mean they're comfortable so I'll wear them but they're not very flattering um, okay next <laughs> okay so this shirt is super cute and it actually does fit but it is just not my style I am NOT a big fan of this one unfortunately and I did try and put on the snake belt because I wanted to tuck this shirt in um, and it is too big for me, so I'm going to have to poke a couple holes for that. But I really love this regardless. Um, but this shirt is just, 
It's just not the one for me, unfortunately. I don't wear colors like this. I'm not used to it. Um, but I'll give it to one of my sisters and they'll love it, I'm sure. So, next one. Just a real quick before I go put on the sweater. Here is that other belt. It does fit my waist, but just barely. Like, I could fit four fingers in there. And there's not much room in between these two buckles. So, so I don't know how this is going to work, if it will. But there's that. I, It's really cute, but I just don't know if it'll work. Okay, and last but not least, the sweater. Um, it does fit a little short. It's not terribly cropped, like some of the comments were saying. Um, I don't know. I love it. It's super comfortable, super soft. The sleeves fit for the most part because um, of the distress. It looks kind of weird. I feel like a scarecrow kind of wearing this for some reason. Just the edges make me think of that. I don't know. But it's super comfortable, super cozy. So that is it. That is my Romwe haul. Um, oh, I still need to plug everything in, and I'll show you pictures of those, like with batteries and everything. Um, but that's all I have for you now. Um, I'm still waiting on packages from Wish. I feel like they're just not going to ever come now, and I should just give up and do a video without those items, but... One of the three items that I'm still waiting for, I wanted for so long. I've been waiting and waiting patiently for it to come. I just don't think it's coming. So we'll see. Um, I might shoot another video after this. Um, I might not. The weather right now is really bad, so I can't get to the store to get the one item that I need to do the video. Um, I might try and have it delivered, but I feel bad sending someone else to drive in weather that I don't want to drive in. Like, I feel guilty about that. But we shall see. Thank you so much for liking, commenting, um, and subscribing if you do that as well. Thank you so, so much. Um, I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, just leave them below. I will get back to you as soon as I can, and I will see you soon. Thank you.